Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin, and this is American Master at Home. I have a beautiful piece of codfish here, about one inch thick. It's about 12 ounces, meaning six ounces per person is great. And I'm gonna show you how to saute it. I have a tablespoon of olive oil, and the classic way, a little bit of pepper on each side. Of course, that technique can be applied to any other type of fish. And then uh, salt. What I want to do here, I dip it in milk, or in that case, half and half, and in flour. The flour here happened to be one dry flour. Could be any flour you want. And start the cooking. Again, here, there, one dry flour. Classic way of cooking it. Depending on the thickness of that, that will cook yeah. at least a couple of minutes on each side on those. That's pretty thick. For me, the garnish has a lot to do with whatever I have in my refrigerator at a given moment. I have a beautiful scallion here, a couple of radish, I have a nice mushroom here, some black olive. So I'm going to do a garnish with that. So maybe with the mushroom. I will cut it into a, yeah, a thin piece here, like this. As you can see, that mushroom is quite large and will probably give me give me like at least half a cup of half a cup of mushroom. Then I have radish. to do a julienne out of this, as we say, it's very crunchy. I think my fish is ready to be turned over. I may reduce the heat a little bit here because as you know, it's pretty thick, so it needs to cook in the center. I don't like it completely cooked inside, slightly rare inside, depend on your... Uh, you know, the type of thing that we do sometimes in restaurants, you would saute a fish like this for a couple of minutes, three, four minutes on each side, and keep it warm in the oven for a little while. And from that point of view, you do your garnish separate when you're ready to send it to the table. And I think I will do maybe a quarter of a cup of black olive here. Oh, I may cut them also into a couple of pieces. This The other side here is beautifully browned out well. But I can see the center is quite uncooked yet. So I may lower the heat and cover it a minute or so. It's still a bit rare in the center, but cooked enough for me. Two beautiful pieces of fish. I'm going to add a dash of olive oil here, as you see, I don't have anything else. A good tablespoon, a good tablespoon of butter, then scallion and mushroom. Dash of salt, dash of pepper. See, it cooked about 30, 40 seconds. The mushroom are still nice and crunchy too. Now I can put the rest of the garnish. And this is it. A little bit of the garnish on top. And a 
lot of the garnish on the other side. I like vegetable garnish. Uh, a bit of chive on top. And here it is, my cut saute with leftover stuff from the refrigerator. Happy cooking. Thank you for joining me. For more, subscribe to this channel or watch here. Thank you and happy cooking.